Today is a reminder for all of you here who are guests and, and for you too, it is a reminder of the beautiful things that come from prayer. Uh, see, Jesus describes what happens in a moment like this is that God is the one who is here to join you two together. It is he who will do this marvelous work. And so, Almighty God, you are the welcome guest here. You are the guest of honor. And uh, we want this to be more than a wedding. We want this to be a worship service where you are honored. And so. Uh, be praised, be blessed, and we just thank you, Lord, so much. Rachel, I have to say, these last eight months have been really, really good to spend with you and to see um, who you are and the quality of your character and the quality of, of your life and the, the amazing gift that you are uh, to my friend here. But uh, I'm excited about uh, uh, all of who you are, but all who you uh, become with him and who you guys will be together. And when I started asking, I know this will be surprising, when I started to ask Will a little bit about you, he said, hold on a second, I'm gonna start tearing up a little bit. Um, and he started to tell me about you being patient and loving the way that you walk through life with him, uh, the way that you are in these things, that you're empathetic and, and care, that the fun and adventurous spirit that you have, uh, and even if that means going to Savers and doing the things that you do and finding the treasures you find. And this is probably the thing that stood out the most, uh, the way he described you, is that she's relentless in her love for me, persistent, uh, that the way that she loves me is the way that God loves me. God. Uh, see, years ago, Will, he was Billy then, you were a middle schooler and we were trying really hard to get you to come to our church youth group and uh, it was the prayers of your sister, your future brother-in-law, a lot of leaders and a lot of uh, myself uh, praying for you, um, hoping, wondering, uh, is there any way, God, you can break through into his heart? But one of the things I think we see in this is uh, in such a short amount of time, you have seen how rich the life of Jesus is, that when Jesus invites us to come and follow him, it is about a, a life that he wants to give us with him now and forever. You look behind you and you have these incredible friendships. You are making a difference in the world and Kim and I are so thankful for you. Uh, and, and Rachel loves who you are becoming and how Jesus is forming you. She was sharing with me uh, how thoughtful you are uh, that you're someone who means what he says, that you follow through, you're sentimental. Uh, you're the one who remembers the songs from the first dates and you're compassionate and funny, uh, the smile, the laugh. And uh, she said to me from the very beginning, she knew. Heavenly Father, we just, uh, we know how delighted you are for this day. 
uh, and how you have looked forward to this day, how you have prepared uh, Rachel and Will for this day. And so uh, we join together asking that they, uh, body, soul, spirit, every part of them, physically, emotionally, spiritually, could be present in these uh, few moments that we have together as a ceremony. God, we pray your blessing, uh, that you would shine your face on this couple in such a way that uh, their days forward would just be filled with peace and, and uh, graciousness from you. We pray you'd surround them, just as you have today, uh, with great people, uh, people who will pray for them, people who will encourage them, who will strengthen them and challenge them. Uh, we pray that you will provide opportunities for them to grow as a couple, as a family, and also, Lord, to make a difference, to join you in the work you're doing to redeem this world. Rachel, Olivia, Eileen, Mary Goni. <laughs> when I look at you, I see home, and I feel so loved. I see these vows not as a promise, but as a privilege, because I get to spend the rest of my life loving you, my best friend, my confidant, my forever. I love how we approach life together as a team, always striving after the same goals and working off each other's strengths. Rachel, I promise to love you in the good times and the bad, when life seems easy and when it seems hard. William, two years ago you captured my heart by being exactly who you are, the sweetest, most loving, compassionate, and humble person that I know. You are so good at showing me how much you love me and you make me feel so special. The first time I saw a glimpse of your passionate heart was when you drove from Huntington Beach to Bakersfield to take me to Disneyland for our second date, only to drive me back to Bakersfield and then back to Huntington Beach. You have been my very best friend, the reason I laugh and my comfort beyond measure. You show me Christ daily by the way you treat me and the way you treat others. You have the most generous heart and I, you're always willing to go out of your way to help others and I am truly a better person with you by my side. When our life is simple and when it is an effort, I promise to serve God and you faithfully to the best of my abilities for all my days. I promise to choose and to love you every day for the rest of my life. I promise to always say I love you even when I'm upset with you. I vow to wake up and choose you every day. I vow to be your best friend. I love you, Rachel. Today I give you my hand, my heart, my love, without condition, completely and forever. These things I give to you today and all the days of my life. I therefore pronounce that you are husband and wife, Will, Billy, William. You get to kiss the bride. Woo! Yeah. 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 Yeah.